said I'd take calls and take your questions. I'm going to do that now. This is a Friday worldwide uh, edition of the uh, Global Transmission, and we are mainly a radio show. I'd say 95% of our audience, millions and millions every day, but we do have hundreds of thousands that uh, watch uh, the free streams at Infowars.com forward slash show. Free podcast, free iPhone app, free Droid app, uh, all of it listed, the free video stream right there at Infowars.com forward slash show. And also, we could not do this broadcast without you, the listeners, supporting and spreading word about the transmission. We cannot do the broadcast without the best radio team that I've ever had. And I've had great folks that have come through here uh, in the past. Uh, but let me tell you, this crew is just learning and getting better and better. And I'm learning. And we're building a new media system in here. And this is live. This is teleprompter free. And so I just want to say that our entire crew is really kicking butt in there. And our sponsors and our AM and FM affiliates are really kicking butt out there as well. And I want to uh, just ask all of our listeners, especially AM and FM listeners, to, to tell as many people as you can a day about the local affiliates that you're listening to us on. Whether it's in Austin, Texas, on 590 AM and 90.1 and 99.7, we're on three stations, or whether it's Chicago on 1530 or all the other affiliates Across the United States, whether you're listening in Bakersville, California, or Victorville, California, or whether you're listening in New York City, Bloomberg bemoaned that we have multiple stations uh, broadcasting into New York City. Uh, they just cannot stand it. They can't stand that we're on XM. And a lot's been done to try to get us off of there and all the libertarian and conservative broadcasts. And big changes are coming next month. Uh, I haven't seen anybody even talk about this. Um, but then I've also been contacted by other groups at XM that intend to try to continue to carry the show starting in July. But it's not just going to be my show uh, that's scheduled. It's most talk radio, most libertarian and conservative talk in a shakeup at XM are to, to be taken off. I can't believe nobody's talked about this yet because I, quite frankly, don't want to get in the middle of it uh, and, 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 you know, make some of the patriots at XM and Sirius. There's good people in every organization angry at me because it's not pointed at Infowars.com. Uh, it is pointed uh, at, uh, yeah, there I am on America's Talk uh, on uh, XM. Uh, there's a big shakeup. You know what, I'm not even going to get into it because I've got like vice presidents and people I've been supposed to call for two weeks at XM and have meetings and I just don't even have time to mess with it. Uh, and, 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 and they're trying to figure out how to keep us on there because they know a lot of subscribers are there because of Genesis shows. And what's being looked at is a whole channel for GCN and, and things like that. But here's the deal. I'm too busy on air. I'm too busy doing news research. I'm too busy paying the bills. I'm too busy doing, uh, you know, HR stuff around the office to, again, mess with the affiliate relations. Genesis is doing that, doing a great job. My only point is, is that there's a lot of people in the power structure, you know, Bloomberg, basically, uh, you know, saying, why is he on XM? He shouldn't be on there. You know, there's cover stories trying to shut down our free speech. Michael Moore complained about a video uh, exposing him as a red coat. And that video has been taken down. Uh, I mean, it's just, yeah, there's hundreds of examples a month now of the dirty tricks and all the stuff we go through so you don't get to hear this show, okay? So the answer to their 1984 is 1776. The answer to their behavior is for us to take action that much more. The answer uh, to the fact that they don't want us on the air and they're doing everything they can to block us is for everybody to sponsor our local AM and FM affiliates and for everybody to spread the word about the broadcast and for people to support the, the, the show because it's growing. But it's like we're going into the wind here. We're moving forward. But still, if we didn't have so much resistance, we would explode. And we would really be able to turn the tide. And, and we're doing it, but not enough. I mean, I just burn to beat these people. I burn to be able to reach people and warn them that, hey, you know, the Gardasil vaccine doesn't protect you from most strains of the papillomavirus and causes autoimmune diseases on record in the studies and even has killed a bunch of people. Hey, did you know the fluoride they put in the water isn't even calcium fluoride that you need a little bit of? It's deadly fluoride. 
Hey, did you know? I, I just want to warn people. I just want the evil to stop. I can't stand watching bad guys get away with stuff. You ever had somebody lie about you? You ever had somebody make stuff up about you that's totally untrue and it really gets you angry? I've gotten the point where I can handle that to myself personally. And I've learned to just think of how sad those people must be and how pathetic. But when I watch them abusing innocent people, and when I watch organized crime in government and corporations getting away with bloody murder, man, I want it to stop. And I know you want it to stop. So let's just spread the word. Get InfoWars magazine. Give it to everybody you know. The current July issue is on NSA spying, what it's really behind it, how it's a takeover of the Internet, a takeover of the real economy. A control grid to be able to corner the stock market and other markets for insiders that have access Hundreds of corporations, well, they said thousands, but really it's hundreds from my intel that have actual access to everybody's info and huge computers to crunch it all. This is a technotronic nightmare, and it exposes it, and there are 10 bumper stickers inside. Big, petroleum-based, the kind that lasts for years, high-quality bumper stickers, even better than the last round of stickers. Buy them in bulk at cost, InfoWarsStore.com. All right, I'm done ranting about that. It's just it's time to get really aggressive with the New World Order. I want to see them beat. So bad that everybody knows that we're really riling the system up. They're attacking us every day in major publications. Uh, we get death threats, dirty tricks, everything else. And I'm just all in. I mean, I'm all into this fight, kicking, jabbing, punching, biting, snapping, gouging eyes out politically. I mean, I am just in a skull-hammering frenzy against the enemy. And, and I, I want to see you be released against them. And I want to overrun them and just have victory and restore the republic. Ugh. Let's go to Alex in Illinois. What is your question today, sir? We're taking questions. Thank you for calling. Hey, Alex. Uh, this is Alex from Chirac again. I called you three months ago on April 28th asking about the rabbit hole. And though I disagree with your answer, I had a follow-up question. How well, how do you disagree with my answer? I mean, I said at the bottom of the rabbit hole is evil and corruption and people that are wicked and, and death. I mean, I mean, what do you think is at the bottom of the rabbit hole? Uh, I think it goes a little bit deeper beyond just uh, existing stuff here on this plane. But uh, I wanted a follow-up question of how far do you think America has sunken into the rabbit hole right meow? Well, it's a paradox. I mean, people are kind of waking up because it's gotten so surreal but will they wake up all the way and put the brakes on this before they're being carted off to be, you know, shot in mass graves? Uh, I mean, will America, you know, lay there and take a beating? Will America go into a catatonic state of learned helplessness and Stockholm syndrome? And so I think that is to be governed by those of us that are somewhat awake. How energetic, how aggressive will we get? I mean, I know I'm independent. I know I started my own media operation that reaches 15 million people a week conservatively with my bootstraps and with other people that agreed with me and supported what I was doing. So I know, because I don't have some high view of myself, I know there are people out there listening right now that if they set on a mission to expose the globalist, they will do it. We will bring them down. It is a will issue. Do we have unshakable, unflagging, total will? The globalists have a strong will, but they're scared now. They can feel cracks in their arm in this arm wrestling contest. I'm telling you, we can jerk their arm out of their bloody socket like Beowulf to Grendel if we just decide to do it. I mean, I'm telling you, they can feel their arms starting to tear out right now. Okay? And I'm telling you, we just keep ripping. It's going to come out. you got to decide to rip their arm out of their socket politically. you got to decide with the moral authority to get back in their face. That's why they're so over the top right now. They are scared to death. Because when we take this country back, they're all going to prison. God bless you, Alex. Rod in France. Go ahead. You're on the air. Bonjour, Alex, uh, mon frère. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you're a little bit out of control there today. Uh, have, uh, we might have to get you on some psychotropic drugs and, and get you to start drinking drinking some water with some hydrofluorosilicic acid, I think. Yeah, I need to get into a trance state and just feel all good about everything and not pay attention to the rising waters of tyranny around me. What's your question, brother? <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, I, I've got some stuff on uh, 
uh, things that I think people should know about, and I don't have the answers to them, and I thought maybe you could help me. It's kind of a state versus federal laws. Um, as far as the National, National Guard goes, um, you know, the National Guard is supposed to be protecting the state is, uh, and is under the control of the government. If, if you know, if there was an all-out, you know, huge uh, – crisis nationally um and uh, i guess the federal government can call on the national guard but if the state wants to use the national guard for its own protection at the same time who who has the supreme authority over that that's right if the federal government won't do its job it is the job under the constitution for the states to put troops on the border it is the job of the states to protect themselves and they're trying to federalize the Guard. It used to be totally a state group. Now they quasi-federalized it. Now they're totally federalizing it. And that's part of the state nullification process. But to really nullify the federal government, we have to point out it's not even a question of the federal government. It is now a globalist government at the executive and bureaucratic level under UNESCO. I mean, here's an example out of Canada. Calgary floods spotlight cities, costly failure to plan for climate change. It's been proven that change is the only constant. It's been proven there's always bad weather in different parts of the world. But they say anytime there's a flood that it's because we're using carbon dioxide that they want to tax. Meanwhile, they're engaged in giant geoengineering programs, but won't say what that's about. And then I point out geoengineering programs, and the media says that I'm saying Obama sent a tornado to Oklahoma when I never said that. I'm saying there are geoengineering programs. So... They've been proven in their own universities in the U.N. four years ago to be lying about the carbon garbage and admitting it's about global governance and taxes. I mean, the president makes money off the carbon taxes. Carbon dioxide is much lower than it's been for hundreds of thousands of years. You can look that up. But they just sit there telling you, CO2's way up. You know, we're all dead. It's deadly. Yay, take our liberties away. We'll be back with more calls. Stay with us. Johnny Appleseed was born during the Revolutionary War. He's not just a legend. And in more than five states, he introduced apples that had not even been grown in the colonies. Later, the seeds from plants he planted and cultivated and some of the varieties he developed spread across the United States. And it was Johnny Appleseed teaching the colonists and then the new Americans after we won independence the love of planting fruit trees that introduced that idea to North America. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a revolutionary act to unplug from the television, to unplug from the computer and all the globalist propaganda and to go out in your backyard or your front yard or planters at your apartment or on the roof of the building where you live and to plant a garden. Become the Johnny Appleseed of your community with seeds from the InfoWars Seed Center at InfoWarsStore.com. The simple act of planting fruits and vegetables and then tending them and taking care of them and then sharing them with friends and family is a revolutionary act against tyranny. The globalists, first and foremost, do not want us to be self-sufficient. The crony anti-free market capitalist, the fascist, are using socialism and collectivism to shut down societies. Stalin in Poland and in Ukraine and other areas starved on record more than 10 million people over five years by not letting them grow their own crops and collectivizing them. Mao killed between 65 million and 80 plus million people doing this same thing. The UN says they will use food as a weapon. They use genetic evil to attack the earth and major GMO companies have been caught going into growth belts around the world, even where GMO is illegal and planting seeds everywhere to infect the genetics of the original crops. Almost all of the thousands of varieties of Mexican corn has been infected. They are in a genetic war against everyone. That's why we have to get these seeds and not just plant them on our own gardens and not just give them as gifts to friends and family to plant spring and summer and fall gardens. I'm calling on you to go out into the green belts, to go out into the areas and plant secret gardens. No, not of marijuana, but of the hundreds and hundreds of incredible high quality uh, vegetables and herbs and fruit plants that are here. 
lemons and oranges, the list goes on and on. They will grow, uh, plum trees, grape trees, they will grow almost everywhere in the U.S. We can literally, not just buying these products from InfoWarsStore.com, but from wherever you get them. This aggressive program literally just came to me one morning when I woke up about 4 a.m. realizing that we've got to counter their genetic war against us with original, real crops developed over eons on this planet. We have the lowest prices we bought it in the biggest bulk that some of these companies have ever seen to ship this directly to you from the InfoWars Command Center. We stand for life. We stand for liberty. We stand for self-sufficiency. Go to InfoWarsStore.com, click on the Seed Center, and as of taping this, we have the seven top respected brands. We intend to continue to do research and find other companies, other specialties, other varieties to really take action. The InfoWars Store Seed Center has the largest online selection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds. Check out these products from our newest supplier, Heirloom Organics. The Medicine Garden for a natural remedy. The Tea Garden that contains every important tea herb you can grow. Fruit Lovers with 12 varieties. And the Tobacco Pack, additive and pesticide free. Join the gardening revolution today at InfoWarsStore.com. This is a revolutionary action we're asking you to take. Plant seeds everywhere today. Nurture them, bring them to fruit, and pass on the knowledge to others. Become human again. Discover your roots in the soil. And remember, the revolution against tyranny is growing. <laughs> White House Apology Group, uh, Salon, did a hit piece yesterday that I saw this morning where they were claiming that I'm basically homophobic, to use their, their term, where they set all the parameters. No, I said I turn on television and they're attacking uh, biological families, the nuclear family. Everybody knows that's all over TV. Everybody knows that there's a demonization by Hollywood and an attempt to sexualize children, both heterosexually and homosexually. And the political correctness says don't even use the word homosexual. It's like saying don't use the word the Caucasus Mountains, so Caucasoids or white people. I mean, it's just, you know, I, I mean, I guess if I call, you know, a bird by its scientific name, it's racist. Anything ignorant masses of people don't know now is racist, basically, or, 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 or bigoted. And then the article says there's no evidence that estrogen mimickers are hurting anybody. So I've got pharmacist Ben Fuchs coming on, and I'll show you about 10 mainstream and alternative uh, news articles and studies with, with uh, estrogen mimickers uh, just causing mass death. I mean, that's a well-known fact. And thank God we've gotten Target and other places to bring in plastics that don't have it and uh, cookware that isn't lined with it. And, and again, they're so mad I'm talking about this, they go, that guy hates gay people. Hey, man, if you think breast, I mean, I mean next I hate women because I don't want to get breast cancer. The article actually says that there's no evidence that estrogen mimickers are hurting anybody. Well, at least you admit they're in the food and stuff. <laughs> at least I got them to do that. I mean, this is incredible. And the truth is, it's the White House science are. He wrote about it in EcoScience. They're putting additives and everything to mess with us. It's Brave New World. It's on record. I mean, next, am I anti-gay because I don't want people to get brain cancer from sodium fluoride? I mean, what does that have to do with it? What does that, but this is what they do. So I'm going to go into your phone calls. And then uh, ex-Chicago cop Zimmerman acquittal to cause race riots. I saw this article this morning by Paul Watson and thought it was important. And there are a lot of people saying on Twitter and Facebook everywhere that they're planning to riot and kill uh, whites. And, uh, I, I mean, I guess that's probably a good idea. I mean, whites are bad. Uh, so I don't want to be politically incorrect. So all whites should report to giant wood chippers at sports stadiums to be fed in to prove you're not racist. I mean, I'm just so sick of this, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, are white people going to riot because a black guy's on tape beating a white woman? I bet he'd have beat anybody he was coming in there to beat up. But I mean, I'm going to tell you, you know, most women I know, regardless of what color they were, would have fought back. Just pretty amazing. Pretty amazing to see that footage. Uh, we're calling it... Uh, you know, more proof that Obama's gun control is working because they've taken all the guns basically in New Jersey 
And so we're going to be breaking that down. Let's jam in one question right now. I'm going to come back, take more calls, and get to our guest. Mitch in California, what's your question, sir? Hey, how's it going, Alex? Well, I'm just realizing how bad it is that I'm a white person. <laughs> uh, so I had a question for you. Um, you've always said that, like, on record, it's been for years and years, uh, all, of these, all these plans. And a lot of times, I've been awake for years, but a lot of times when I try and awake people, I'll show them your show, and it's just, it's too much for them. They're not down the rabbit hole enough, I guess, to, to really understand what you're talking about. And I'm wondering if there's any articles that you have or any books, kind of like a conspiracy 101, uh, something that would... Yeah, I think the Obama deception or a film like Endgame... Those those are I mean they're, they're hardcore they're they're very hard to believe but they have online bibliographies uh, like what is the endgame dot com so they can document it but I found you couldn't wake the sheeple up to why is it bad for police during a flood to go door to door and confiscate guns you know maybe they can understand hey why didn't they do it before because all you do is set up checkpoints and stop looting you don't go into people's houses and then you rob them. So someone else doesn't rob them. See, logic is an enemy. We're never going to get the general sheeple. They're going to go off and die of fluoride poisoning. We're reaching out to those that can understand this. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show. Coming up, we're going to look at uh, media claims that estrogen mimickers in the food and water are not bad for you. Of course, they don't cite any scientific studies. We will be doing that because I want people to know what's being done to them by design. In fact, I'm going to um, do a special in Obama Deception 2 just on the eugenics and their own admissions of how they're adding things to the food and water uh, to create asexuals. Actually, when they're done... People won't even have a sexuality. They'll just be biological androids. Uh, so that's coming up. But first, they have to break up the family in their own words. Uh, Tony in Florida, you have a question on Rand Paul. Welcome. Thank you for holding, sir. Uh, hi, Alex. Uh, Longtime supporter and uh, listener. Um, the, that wasn't my question, actually, but uh, I have a question. I'll make it brief and I'll take it. Okay, I'm sorry, because we don't usually screen calls. People have been volunteering what their question is. It says Rand Paul up there. Uh, no, that's a mistake. Okay, okay, well, uh, go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, I'll take the answer off here. I've been a longtime supporter of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth. Uh, and in 2011, I came across the work of an engineer uh, with evidence to the contrary. I assumed at first glance that uh, she was either a kook or COINTELPRO. Uh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. John Harmon just came on and said you said you wanted to talk about Rand Paul. Sir, we're not screening your calls. You didn't have to give us a fake story to get on and then come on and say I'm wrong. Did you or did you not tell him that you wanted to talk about Rand Paul? Uh, yeah, I didn't say you were wrong. I said it was a mistake. Uh, I, I figured I'd get the phone hung up on me. I was just calling to recommend the, an interview with Dr. Sir, Jimmy hold Wilson. on, hold on just a minute. Hold on a minute. Sir, we don't screen calls unless I say I want people to call in who are in this town that's on fire or something, or there's a mass shooting on a university. Uh, you know, will you call us? That's the only time. Do you not believe me that 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 we don't screen people's phone calls? No, sir, and uh, I'll I'll respect that. And uh, no, no, I don't care. It just sounds weird. I mean, you know, it says okay, Rand Paul, if you volunteer it, I'll bring it up. Now, now, start over with what you wanted to say. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll make it quick, and I'll take the answer off the air. Thanks for your time. Uh, uh, thank I you. I was a supporter of architects and engineers and I live in truth for a long time. Mm -hmm. came, across, came across the work of Dr. Judy Wood in her book, Where Did the Towers Go? First, by hearing Je uh, Jesse Ventura on your show, I believe, in 2011, mention uh, her name. Um, her work is astounding, and the evidence shows that thermal and kinetic means were not employed in the destruction of the World Trade Center complex. Director scale data. Is enough itself. It shows that the, there were no. Sure. So, what's your question? Uh, if you'd have her on, and uh, regardless of your where you stand, if you'd have her on and, and have yourself. Sure, sure, audience. sure. Let me answer that question. And I appreciate your call. I am the founder of questioning 9/11. I mean, there was NORAD stand down. The hijackers were trained at U.S. bases. That's Sacramento Bee, Associated Press. 
I, that means I question there needs to be a real investigation. You know, Bush and Cheney weren't under oath, blah, blah, blah. They then turned that into, Alex says, like Wiley Coyote, Bush blew up the towers. So then again, they misrepresent. I say, hey, they've got weather weapons. It's on History Channel. That turns into, I say, Obama sent a tornado. So they build straw men around what I've really said about 9-11. I want to go with, hey, they said they blew up Building 7. We have scores of newscasts saying they blew it up. Then they say, don't say that, it's a conspiracy theory, when I have BBC, CNN, you name it, saying it. So I wanted to stick with that. People can debate and argue all day in 9-11 truth what they think happened. Not Judy Wood, and I've let Ventura come on and promote her. I mean, that's fine. I didn't say anything when he brought it up. I don't know her. I know some of the people associated with her got really vicious towards Stephen Jones, Professor, and other people. And then I got attacked by people saying I was covering up what happened, and I better have people on. So when I'm approached like that, I immediately just go, wow, this is like a weird academic fight, like different schools of Darwinism or something fighting with each other. I've just stayed out of it, okay? Uh, and that's basically the end of it. And then I'm attacked everywhere for just sticking to what I think is the most important evidence of prior knowledge and involvement. There's your answer. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an I beam when there's a 50 cal present. Brothers in Arms, 50 cal ammo review and more coming in the month of June to the Info War. Now, this story just uh, broke in Canada yesterday. It has not been in the U.S. press. It is now. Uh, Canadian Mounties exploit flood to confiscate firearms from citizens. They've gone in to even dry homes in a large area, eight days in, the flood's gone, and are confiscating the guns just like Katrina. Uh, so uh, citizens complain cops seizing guns is something right out of Nazi Germany, and that is the quote. That article is up on Infowars.com uh, right now. Uh, also, continuing the government trying to exacerbate racial division, the Justice Department directly in there, organizing groups on record, and then when they got caught, they pulled out of it, to protest uh, the death of Trayvon Martin. I don't think what Zimmerman did was smart, following somebody down the sidewalk who they see, they think acting suspiciously. It's not suspicious to be wearing a hoodie. It's not suspicious to be uh, black. Uh, I think that there are stereotypes and things that go on where I have seen and, and grew up in Dallas and have a lot of black friends, but especially in Dallas growing up, where you'd be with one of your black friends want to play basketball or baseball and a cop would pull over just because you were walking down the street, even if you were clean cut. And then if I was a white kid with other white kids, I never really had cops pull over and ask us where we were going. So I I've experienced walking with a black person, kind of like walking while black. I get this kind of stuff goes on. But then when you see Hollywood and MTV with the image of gangster, gangster, and people embracing that and crime statistics because of what's been sold, because this wasn't this way, you can actually look up uh, FBI numbers from like the 30s and stuff was actually lower illegitimacy and lower crime rates in most black areas than in white areas. In fact, I need to do a whole special on this sometime because I really know statistics and history. That's what's so weird. How do black areas now have the highest crime in the United States? How do you have in many areas 10 to 1 black on white crime? Look up just department numbers. You can just type in 10 to 1 black on white crime. So then it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy and it shows really the job government's done in just 60 years of kicking men out of the house and saying, women are in charge, kick your man out, you get all this money, and undermining the male authority figure. And look, if you follow the black collapse, which is on record, 90 plus percent illegitimacy, crime rates off the charts, the system set up to funnel blacks into jail and prison to then get their, their training as criminals. 
if you look at the statistics, whites, Hispanics are following the same trail, just haven't been on it as long, and are now shooting up in crime, illegitimacy, uh, d d uh, life expectancy going down. The black male has the lowest life expectancy of any racial group in this country. And, and it, 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 this is what government and fake feminism has done by design. And so I intend, in fact, in Obama Deception 2, uh, we're making it right now. The problem is I got so much evidence, so much info. It'll at least be one of the extras. I want to show these crime statistics. Less illegitimacy in the black community than in the white community 60, 70 years ago. Less crime in most areas. But see, they made the black neighborhoods the authorized crime zones. It's in The Godfather, which is based on true story, where they say, we keep the drugs in the colored area. They are animals, let them lose their souls. That was the attitude. That's where they did the medical testing, all of it. And so there is a victimization there, but now it's been turned into something else, and you're not supposed to talk about it. You're not supposed to talk about groups of black kids you know, out beating up whites and attacking all over the country in gangs, in racial gangs, just like the Klan did when it was seen as culturally acceptable to go out and attack and kill blacks. Humans, it's the same wiring, same stuff, folks. Different pigmentation of the skin. All, I mean, that you can say on average there might be genetic variations in groups, you know, from one part of the world or the other or this or that. But when you get down to it, people are people. And it, people will dehumanize a group so that they can then abuse them. Like, oh, the, the, the Native Americans are savages, so we can kill them. Uh, or, you know, the Jews are all criminals, so we can kill them. Uh, or, well, whites are the problem, so we can go rob them. And, and I saw famous cases just a few years ago. Guys, you can try to pull that up. I forget the guy's name. One of the main black radical leaders out in Houston said, stop mugging black people. Go mug some whites. Uh, you know, so, so I mean, it, it, it's a manifestation. But you see, then there's no autoimmune system against racism if it's coming from someone who is not white. Because people, they call it reverse racism. What an oxymoronic term. What an oxymoronic term to call it reverse racism as if only whites could be engaged in racism when whites are like 7% of the world population and dropping fast. So I guess as soon as there's no supposed white people, even though their genetics will go on, it's just it's like, you know, if you made it a German shepherd with a pit bull or whatever, you know, one comes from Northern Europe and... One, they think, comes from probably, you know, Southern Europe. I mean, it's, it's, it doesn't matter. It's still a wolf. It's just, that's kind of like, you know, like a French bulldog is still a dog and can mate with a chihuahua. I mean, you could say there's differences in whatever happened in breeding, culture, wars, all of it. The point is they, people are obsessed with this because this is what humans did. Look, you'd, you'd have a tribe. And your tribe would produce more than the other tribe. And then you'd make an excuse of some, you know, well, the tribe beat up one of our people or killed somebody down by the water hole. So we're going to get together and go kill them and take their women. I don't care if you're black, white, Asian, whatever supposed group you come from. Your ancestors tended to be the people that like to breed, like to kick butt like to stomp people's heads in, but also knew science and how to produce things and make weapons and, and produce food. And so we are aggressive. And I mean, my ancestors, I've, we've gone back to the lineage on both sides. It's like everything from famous preachers to pirates to you name it. I mean, I, there's a reason I'm so crazed. And my family always, just going back into the midst of Europe, has been on the front line of generally liberty revolutions and of fighting overwhelming odds. But everybody has that that genetic code but is it a pre is it something that's 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 dominant in you that's really a question i mean they know psychopath behavior is most of it's genetic can you get a psychopath early out of it with with nurture it depends in the studies they've done they're artificially kind of creating sociopaths in the culture that will carry out psychopathic type behaviors. We're going to go to break and come back with pharmacist Ben Fuchs. It's just that I wanted to discuss this and talk about it because no one wants to live in harmony and, 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 and freedom and a future together like me. And, you know, I get up here and say, hey, they're, they're in the vaccines giving people viral plagues. Here's the evidence in Africa. 
Let's stop the depopulation program in Africa. Let's stop Obama doubling the money for basically forced abortions in Africa and, and, and in China as well. Our government helps fund that through the World Health Organization. On record, look it up. Just type in Obama increases you know, abortion funding in Africa, and it turns out they coerce the women. And, you're, and, and a liberal will go, well, there are too many people there. And I'm like, so you want to kill black babies, but I'm a racist because I don't want government-run health care. I want to own a gun to protect myself, and I'm a racist. But they're like, well, yeah, there are too many black people. And that's the average liberal white person. It, it, folks, everything is scrambled. That's what's so frustrating. Like, I don't like the forced sterilization going on in Mexico of poor people right now. Because it's a tyranny. And it'll, and, and, but the argument is, well, you don't like 100 plus million people with 30 new, million new people every five years. I mean, I thought you don't want all these poor people to drive down wages. No, I want to bring out the free energy systems and build it up and empower people. And once they become industrialized, they'll only have two kids or less like we do in the West. You see, I mean, I really want to be able to go to Mexico and have it be big, shining, beautiful buildings and high tech and jet copters and happy people. You know, I, I don't want them dead. I don't want to sterilize Mexican women. And, and, but it doesn't matter. The La Reconquista groups are so into their race thing. They're like, we're taking over. We're getting your guns, gringo. We'll show you. And I'm going, you're, you're going to show me? I don't want your people to die? And, but they're not programmed to hear that on average. That great truth of, I'm saying don't abort the Hispanic babies. I mean, I come at things from just pure justice. Would I want that done to me? Do unto others as you'd have done unto you. I mean, that, that to me isn't even a rule. That is what I live. I mean, I know from all their tomes and articles and Time Life magazine articles that Aaron Dykes dug up and Eco Science and all this stuff, they're in all these dozens and dozens of books saying we're adding stuff into lining of things to sterilize and make people asexual. And before he died and Brave New World Revisited, Huxley wrote about it. And I come out and say they're changing our sexuality to be asexual. Uh, they're, they're doing all this, they're manipulating us, and then they write articles about how I hate gay people. And then they're like, what's wrong with having, you know, these chemicals changing you? And there you are. It's basically like the last man on earth. They don't want, they don't want to be told what's been done to them. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the Infowars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, Infowars.com forward slash show.